Hello and welcome to another video. Been cranking these things out like a crackhead scratching for an inch for that new hit of the drug. I want to be your drug. Just kidding. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content. I've been trying to crank them out as much as I can. So um, let's get into it. All right, so it looks like Xbox Series X, one terabyte expandable storage price was correct. That was the price that was leaking around the internet, and it looks like it is official. Even Best Buy has it ready for you to pre-order it and um, mm, drop a shit ton of money on it. Okay, so Microsoft one terabyte expandable storage will be priced at $219. Um, Best Buy has already started taking pre-orders for the accessory, reeling a final price that has leaked recently. These expandable storage cards slot into the rear of the back of the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, AKA Sex, to match the internal SSD speed and provide one terabyte of extra storage. Okay, with those cards, you know, you don't really get one terabyte. You'll get like 960 or 980 or something some of it is used for um, you know software or whatever um, same thing with the series x i think we'll get like about the same as the uh, as the playstation i think playstation is being actual with their hard drive space maybe after like all the software stuff that's in installed into the hard drive we'll actually get 825 usable space but um, that's why maybe they didn't market it as one terabyte because we're not really getting one terabyte of storage. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get into, dive a little bit deeper here. The Xbox Series X ships with one terabyte of SSD and Xbox Series S just 512, which is not enough to be honest, especially if you're going all digital, you know? And that's the fact that it's internalized, so you can't even change it if you want to later on down the road because the console is all sealed up. Um, maybe down the road, they will be including a one terabyte SSD for a digital version instead of just the 512 because I don't believe that's enough. You might have to spend that $219, but that's a shit ton of money. That's almost half of the cost of the Series X. That's more than half, actually. I want to say that's like 80% of the cost of the Series S, you know, so it's not even worth it, and it's half the price of the Xbox Series um, X, so I suggest just wait with technology advancing so fast that the prices will go down, all right? Anyway, that was a lot to say, um, yeah. An alternative to this expandable storage is simply using a USB drive to store games when you don't need to play them. They're not enhanced for Xbox Series X or S, then you'll even be able to run them direct from the USB storage, or you can simply copy them and use them, use the drives as a cheaper cold storage. It's difficult to judge the price of these expandable storage cards simply because there aren't enough um, comparable PCIe 4.0 Navi SSDs out there. As we've been talking about the, um, the SSD to Navi, um, Samsung actually introduced their new one, the Samsung uh, 980 Pro, and that comes in different varieties. Um, the only place that I've seen that it's available, it's actually New Egg has them available for um, for pre-orders. And if you want the one terabyte, the price is two hundred and twenty-nine dollars, um, which is a lot of lot of money so here they are and they're coming in um, what I think October is when they're releasing October 12 to be precise is when these cards released and that's gonna be taking advantage of the PCI Express 4.0 slots so this is the closest thing that compares to that um, expandable SSD from Microsoft version the Seagate um, and to be honest, like I said before, you don't need the terabyte. Um, Xbox Series X doesn't have a lot of games that are gonna be must must buy day one, so you don't really need that much space. And you're probably gonna be utilizing your external drive from your 
Xbox One X days to play some of the Xbox One games. Um, the only game that I'm really excited to play is the medium right now because it looks sick. I want to I want to try that. It's a survival horror. I don't know if it's survival horror, but it is a horror game. Um, let me know what you guys think of the price. I think it's a little bit steep. But with new technology, expect to pay premium. Just like when we got the new consoles, we're paying a premium for it right now, which is not that bad comparing 499 is not a bad price for the next gen consoles. But as we've learned, things tend to, you know, price wise go down. So maybe in like a year or so, the Xbox um, Series X would be at 450 and the PS5 would be at 450 And then in two years, they'll probably redesign it and make it cheaper. So, um,. Yeah, these are just my thoughts. What do you guys think of the price? Um, will you be getting one day one? Are you going to pre-order from Best Buy? Um, what are you going to do? Let me know in the comments below, all right? This is somewhat unbiased. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one.